Speaking of girls, March is Women's History Month, and Hometown TV's Lee Pafford researched some of the remarkable rim women right here in our community. Wow. I can't wait to see what she's found out, Cheryl, because there are so many empowered and remarkable women in this area. Let's watch it. Okay. In 1987, President Reagan announced the second week in March to be Women's History Week. Ten years later, President Clinton decided that March would be Women's History Month. You may remember learning about women in history like Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Blackwell, and Sally Ride. All women who did things that people never thought women would be able to do, vote, be a doctor, and be an astronaut. We at Hometown TV thought it might be interesting to investigate some women in history in our viewing area that were integral in women's rights and the movement of women. Let's check it out. The Reverend Dr. Florence Spearing Randolph was the pastor of Wallace Chapel AME Zion Church right here in Summit from 1925 to 1946. She was a noted leader in the Zion Church and in the women's suffrage movement in New Jersey. She was born just three years after the Emancipation Proclamation and graduated from high school and moved to New Jersey where she became a dressmaker. Shortly after becoming a dressmaker in New Jersey, she was married, had a child, and unfortunately became a widow in a short span of time. In 1897, she applied for a license to preach. Although she received the license, it was fought with opposition from men in the church. Many of the larger congregations did not want her as a preacher. She ended up at a church with only 35 members that was very, very much in debt. Where is the church, you might ask? Well, it was right here in Summit, New Jersey. The Wallace Chapel, where we are right here in Summit, New Jersey, was the church that she ended up leading from poverty to prosperity. With only 35 members back in the 1920s, the church met in the Y. After a few years, that she was able to get a duplex close by in Summit, where the congregation grew from 35 to 100. A few years after that, she was able to raise enough funds to break ground on this beautiful building that you see here. Florence led the church for 21 years until she was 80 years old. She enjoyed five years of retirement before her passing away, and the church in 2007 was declared a national and state historic landmark. Florence will be remembered forever for her fight for women's suffrage, her success in this church, and her fight for rights for African Americans. If you've ever caught the train out of Convent Station, then you have to thank Sister Mary. She was an integral part of getting the train station here by convincing New Jersey Transit that there needed to be another stop between the Madison and Morris lines. In addition to the train station, she also brought us the Academy of St. Elizabeth and later the College of St. Elizabeth. The College of St. Elizabeth opened in 1899 and was one of the first all-women school in the nation and the first all-women school here in New Jersey. It was also one of the first Catholic schools. At the time, students took classes in the Xavier Center, which still stands on the campus, and now over 2,000 undergrad and graduate students study subjects like education, business, communications, nutrition, and more. Notable alumna from the College of St. Elizabeth include Rear Admiral Louise Curry Wilmot, class of 1964, who, when she retired, was the most decorated woman in the Navy and also the first woman to command a naval base. You may also include me, Lee Pafford from Hometown TV, class of 2002. Meryl Streep was born in Summit. With 17 Academy Award nominations and three wins, she's regarded by many to be the best actress in American history in our lifetimes. One of the things that's most respected about Meryl's talent is her ability to really become the character that she plays. This was most apparent in her recent role as Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady, for which she won an Academy Award. It was also proven in her role in Sophie's Choice, where she not only learned to speak German, but Polish as well for critical scenes in the movie. She also received an Academy Award for her role in Sophie's Choice. Merrill has 27 Golden Globe nominations with eight wins, two Emmy Awards, two Screen Actors Guild Awards. She was awarded the Kennedy Center Honor in 2011 for her contribution to American culture through performing arts. And in 2010, President Obama awarded her the National Medal of Arts. 
Meryl Streep also has a passion for women in history. She's the national spokesperson for the Women in History Museum in the DC area, and her fee for the movie, The Iron Woman, was donated to the museum. So now you know a little bit more about some women in history in our local area. To discuss some more women in history, feel free to visit our Facebook page and join in the discussion. I'm Lee Pafford for Hometown TV. Back to you in the studio.